Tonight, the Sacramento Zoo remains closed through at least Saturday. Crews are working to clean up all those fallen trees. Three groups of animals had to be evacuated from their enclosures. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp got an exclusive look at the cleanup and how they're keeping the animals safe there when the weather gets dangerous. Ashley. Hey guys, yeah, the Sacramento Zoo leaders were crossing their fingers, hoping that they would be able to open back up tomorrow. But the zoo remains locked tonight and will be closed at least for the rest of the week as back to back storms continue to cause trees to topple. Now we got a look inside the zoo today at the cleanup efforts that have been well underway all week. Ten large trees have fallen in the storms and high winds that we've seen since New Year's Eve. Some exterior fencing was damaged, which is being repaired now. Two animal enclosures were breached due to falling tree limbs, but both were empty at the time. The zoo evacuated three groups of animals to safer ground, knowing that their enclosures were at risk. That's the river otters who were actually moved inside but are now happily back in their main enclosure tonight. The mongoose lemurs that are still being kept in a temporary habitat tonight as the top of their main enclosure was breached with a hole in the soft mesh as a tree limb came crashing down when a large tree fell. And then the meerkats who were evacuated to the on-site veterinary hospital where they remain tonight as a precaution. Make sure they stay safe from crushing limbs. With that tree being removed, they should be clear to go back in the next day or two. They're very curious, but also very scaredy cat. Now it's an all hands on deck approach to make sure that these animals are safe and not in their pens when trees are at risk of falling. The zoo watches the weather closely and assesses the risk to each enclosure to prevent any animals from getting hurt or escaping. For large animals like the lions, giraffes and zebras, instead of being moved, they'll actually be confined to the inside of their enclosure to protect them from the weather when it's bad. Now right now the zoo is hoping to open back up on Saturday, but they said that they will stay closed until until it is safe and accessible inside. All right, that is good news. This weather, not just rough on humans, but animals as well. Ashley, thanks so much.